Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you may have noticed, things have been a bit quiet. Hello Himiko, you kind of ruined a joke that I was playing up to, but you're all good. Say hi to Himiko everyone. Look at her. But, yeah, things have been a bit quiet. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can notice this quite yet, but I'm actually in a new apartment. Yeah, so the locations have changed a little bit. Um, I still have my desk here as you can see and Himiko is still over here because that's the question on everyone's mind watching this video. Where is Himiko? Well Himiko is right here looking at my tripod. But yeah, um, so the last time we talked it was like in May or something. I don't really remember. It was whenever I did my room tour but now I'm in a new room, like literally maybe a couple weeks after I did that tour. How? So is that tour um, a bit obsolete? A little bit, but not much has really changed except maybe these shelves up here now. I now have shelves on top of me. Um, but yeah, there's that. And also things have gotten very, very weird with this pandemic stuff. So, you know, uh videos can't keep on going as they used to however there was a big announcement from good smile that caught everyone off guard including the people in the server that i'm in is that a bunch of one fest exclusives for ax light were dropped randomly so as you can see probably beneath this bubble wrap that's nendery number 515 also known as two star uniform mako and she has definitely been a very hard Nendori to find. I had always wanted her. The problem is, is that she's usually aftermarket around $150 to $200. That being said, I didn't think I was ever going to get her. But the fact of the matter is that, the, that they dropped these and I bought her for $45. Which is insane considering that I was looking at $200 which is more than 400% of her markup value. But yeah, we caught her here and that got everyone in a, in a tizzy and all that. But I'm not opening her today. No, no, no. I'm just here to kind of announce that I have it and that there is a video specifically with her to be opened later on. What I am going to be doing today though, is I'll probably open up some of my Nender Aids um, that I have not opened up. Um, there are some new Nendoraids that I've gotten. Um, I got Tomoko Kuruki from Watamote, and I also got Bloomed in Japan Sakura Miku, Nendoraid number 500. So, why am I showing you Mako? Well, it, like I said, it's just because I'm gonna be doing a video just with her very soon. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to know this, but also, as of this moment, it's been two, a little bit more than two weeks since that AX Lite announcement. And there is still Mako's available at the Good Smile US shop. As of recording this video, there are still Mako's left. Um, it's funny because there's people already scalping these on eBay, on Mercari for way more. and. I just kind of wish I could tell people like, hey, you can get it for $45 minus shipping and tax and all that. But you know, there's no way for me to contact people that way. Um, I guess I could do a massive post, but I'd rather not. Hi, Himiko, welcome back. But yeah, Himiko, move. Thank you. But yeah, that's that. Um, that's the whole intro, I guess, right here. So I guess you could just skip to whatever maybe i'll have a timestamp. maybe i won't i don't know because i don't really do youtube that often so am i a professional youtuber not really but i still like you know recording videos and i guess it's like 50 something of you also like seeing these videos and yeah hello himiko and with himiko we will go into the next segment Back. so I'm pretty sure you've seen all of these back when I was doing that other haul. I think it's my most recent haul that I got the Family Mart Vocaloids and then this um, Yukata uh, Miku. But the things that you have not seen that I've gotten is Bloomed in Japan Sakura Miku and 
Tomoko Kuruki from Watamote. These two are brand new. Um, I do have more Nendoroids, like, you know, Mako, which she's back inside her closet. And I also have Nekopara Nendoroids. However, the Nekopara aren't here yet because I have not placed the order yet. I have been waiting. Um, so those Nekopara Nendoroids will also get their own video. Unless I want to combine it with my July stuff that's coming in. If my July stuff is not delayed. But yeah, I think first, we'll, I'll show you guys all these poses as well. But these ones, I'll show you the boxes because these ones I'm pretty sure you've already seen. And if you haven't seen in my other video, Himiko's over here. She's just sniffing around. One of the unique things about the Sakura Miku right here is that her box isn't the traditional cardboard glossy stuff that we see. I'm not sure if you can kind of tell on camera, but it looks like it's been a bit aged, but that's not it. They use Sakura paper for the Bloom in Japan, which is really interesting. It gives it a very interesting feel. It's like, <laughs> um, let me try and think of a feel of how this feels. It's like, a, like the, your hand with eczema. That's the best example I could come up with. But yeah, I picked this up for like $80, um, which I think was a steal. I had to drive to pick it up, which wasn't too bad since they were in the same state as me. But yeah, here we have the front. We have the side right here. We have the back. We have the bottom. We have the top. The other side. And yeah, that's Sakura Miku. I'll put her to the side. Next we have Tomoko from Watamote. I got her for like, shoot, um, I think around the same price as Sakura Miku. Um, this one was brand new and the box is in pretty good condition. So it makes sense on why she's a bit pricey, but yeah, right here we got the front side. We have the side side. We have the back. We have the side, side, other side. We have the top. And we got the bottom. Oh yeah. Well, that was the quickest box showing I've ever done. Um, but yeah, let's get these open up and I can show you what comes inside. Now we have returned. I will be showing you the insides of the Family Mart and the Yukata Miku because that you have not seen. Um, so let's just go down the line and here we have Prize A Family Mart Hatsune Miku. This one comes with a lot. It comes with another body, it comes with a dolphin, it comes with goggles, it comes with food, it comes with the cash. Um, the counter, the cash counter, a snorkel, the Miku figure, a basket. It comes with a lot, to be honest. And it looks like it comes with an extra waist? Um, why? What? What? Why does it come with an extra waist? All these have their own waist. What's... I... Oh, it's the connector to the dolphin. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> I was a bit confused, but here we have Kagamine um, Rin. She also comes with a cash counter, cash register, um, price gun, the figure, all this stuff. That's what she comes with. And Kagamine Len, he comes with this food tray right here to carry food, along with the um, cash counter, um, some extra arms and stuff, an extra faceplate and stuff like that. That's all the Family Mart stuff. Um, and then Yukata Miku, she comes with the figure, these faces, blushing face, a delighted face, extra arms, some fans, a little water balloon yo-yo thing, and yeah. And with Tomoko, we she's the first one to have instructions, which you know we don't like, so put that in there. And Tomoku comes with her distress face, her lewd face, her normal face, her headphones, her backpack, mic, manja, torn pansu, an extra hair it seems. Um, that's for when she's tearing up said pansu. 
And then finally we have Sakura Miku with another instructions which we don't want. And she comes with not too much, but also a lot of very neat things. She comes with the figure, of course. It looks very nice. Um, some braids. We have her little gasping face, her content face. Um, that's a nice mouth. She got, we have her holding a tray, some leg, stuff like that. But yeah, this one doesn't come with an extra waist, which is pretty good. And I mean, like, I guess that's it. So I'm going to open these up. I'm going to pose them and you know, you'll see me literally or like right now. All right guys, and here we are with all of them posed. Here is my favorite set of them all. Well, maybe not my favorite set, but like this is my favorite set that I posed right now is the Family Mart Vocaloids or also known as the Essential Workers. I do like this and I do like their counters and all this stuff that's included. It's a really, really nice thing and I can't wait to pose them all together. But along with Tomoko and Yukata Miku, my favorite and I think the prettiest Nendoroid I've seen so far is bloomed in Japan Sakura Miku. This Nendoroid is such a beautiful Nendoroid just from everything. Like I don't know if I can particularly show it on camera. You might see it a little bit, but like her hair all around sparkles. Everything about this Nendoroid is amazing and beautiful and I'm so glad I bought it. Like here we go. This is probably going to be a thumbnail picture, but like Oh my god, is Sakura bloomed in Japan Miku amazing? She is just utterly amazing. And along with all these, I think that concludes this video. But don't forget, I do have that specific Mako one coming soon. I also have the ones with the Neko Paran under it once they get here. Um, I also have bought some other stuff that aren't Nendoroid related and I didn't know if I wanted to open it on camera but I already opened them so like there's that. But there is going to be a new cast to the Kemiko Taku channel and you guys will see her either with the Nekopar Nendoroids or the Mako one. But you know until then let's look at Sakura Miku once again and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.